Today we will learn commutative property of the following mathematical operations with respect to whole numbers. We know that all the numbers from 0 to infinity are called whole numbers. Commutative property allows a mathematical operation to be solved by changing the order of the numbers. Let's understand in detail. Let's talk about the addition of numbers. Can we add two whole numbers in any order? Think about it. Let's suppose we draw three circles on the left and four circles on the right on a piece of paper. On doing so, the total number of circles we get are 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. If we rotate the paper this way, then the order of the circles will change. By doing so, there will be 4 circles on the left side and 3 circles on the right. Is there any change in the total number of circles? No. The number of circles is the same as before, that is 7. Thus, the commutative property of addition tells us that there will be no change in the final number even if we change the order of the numbers, which means a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, whenever you wish to find the sum of two whole numbers, you can add them in any order. You will get the same result even on changing the order of the numbers. Just like addition, is the subtraction of whole numbers also commutative? Think for a while. Let's see. Is it possible to subtract a smaller whole number from a bigger whole number? However, we cannot subtract a bigger whole number from a smaller whole number. Therefore, the subtraction of any two whole numbers, A and B, cannot be done by changing the order of the numbers. That is, A minus B is not equal to B minus A. Therefore, subtraction is not commutative for whole numbers. Now, Let's talk about multiplication. If we make two rows of three balls each, then the total number of balls can be obtained by multiplying two and three. The product is six. However, if we change the order by making three rows of two balls each, then do we get the total number of balls same as before? Yes, three times two is also six. This shows that Multiplying two whole numbers in any order will result in the same product. Therefore, for any two whole numbers, A and B, the product of A and B is equal to the product of B and A. Thus, we can say that the multiplication of whole numbers is commutative. Coming to division operation. The division of any two whole numbers A and B cannot be done by changing the order because A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. For example, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. However, 2 divided by 4 is equal to half. Therefore, 4 divided by 2 cannot be written as 2 divided by 4 by changing the order. Therefore, Division of whole numbers is not commutative. Today we learned that addition and multiplication of whole numbers are commutative, whereas subtraction and division of whole numbers are not commutative. In the next video, we shall deal with a few examples related to this property.